This is an update. Um, had some changes um, to the tiny house, so we decided we would go ahead and update the video. Um, you'll hear a noise in the background outside here because we are now canning dog food. This is the second um, time we've done it, and this time we're using pork. I got a little bit of hamburger thrown in, but mostly pork. Um, so I think you've seen the deck before. This has been added. We still have more to do, um, but this was functional for us right now. Um, we added a motion sensor light to the box here that Cornerstone provided for us. And I made a wreath for the front door for fall. We set up a fire pit in the church using some of the wood that we'd already cut down from some trees that were looking a little scary. So we'll go on inside. So um, first thing you're probably going to notice is uh, the fact that the couch is different. So um, that couch was not the best purchase in the world for a tiny couch. Um, it just wasn't very well made um, and it was also very low to the ground. So since it was supposed to be a fold-out couch um, and it did crack, the frame of it cracked when we tried to put it on something um, to raise it up so it wasn't so close, low to the ground, it cracked and it would have cost more to fix it or alter it than to just go ahead and, and get something else. So we found this at a local um, furniture store, Bose Furniture in Parsons. Um, and I'm sure the chair was there already. That's still there. And I'm going to walk in. Um, we had a uh, dog food bin with uh, dry dog food that we were using primarily for food for the dogs. And so we built this box specifically to house that. Um, so we'll see how they are on the homemade dog food. Um, and if that works out, then we may not be putting that there anymore. So we'll find another um, purpose for that, more different storage for that. And of course we hid the water underneath this step and then he did a raised step in front of the door just to give another step up. Um, obviously he can stand on that and reach just what's up near the edge in the loft but can't hoist himself up there so um, that's a process. Um, as far as what we're going to do on that wall it's going to have to be something that's not doesn't come out very far from the wall so working on that. And um, around here. Um, we had ordered some stools online um, from Walmart and they were just a little bit too high for our table that we have that he mounted and so we made that adjustment. You gotta make adjustments, gotta be flexible. Um, so I'll move this out of the way and this is the table. Sorry, doing this on my own here. Um, this is the table that we had made um, for our house, which was twice as long as this. And Carrie adjusted that, just split it in half, and mounted it on the wall. And these brackets were um, recommended by Cornerstone. Um, I believe they hold like over 100 pounds piece or something like that. It clicks and locks into place. So that's coming out of the wall. And I'll back up so you see what that looks like. I'll back up further so I can pan around and you can see there's the front of the couch. There's how far the table comes out. And that's how far the table comes out past the buffet. Carrie is back at uh, cutting some wood. I'll take you out there in a minute and you'll see that. Um, oh goody, we have a bee in the house because I went and slowly left the door open. I'll shut that. Um, the biggest thing that we noticed about the, the these brackets and and also not so much the brackets as the location of where we have our table um, because the buffet which is our sink um, is permanently fixed there we can't get to the underside to release this other one and the way you release them is simultaneously you have to push here so both at the same time, while holding the table up. <laughs> so 
Um, it's interesting that the way you have to do it, but I'm not going to show you that because it would take two hands. Um, so that would be the biggest thing for us is we're going to try to come up with something that that to to change this up a bit so we can disengage these two at the same time without doing yoga <laughs> to do it. Um, it, it's, uh, so that's the biggest thing, um, with this. So if you're looking to, um, use these in your tiny house or wherever, just make sure you have clearance on both sides to access them, to release them. Um, because it would take two people regardless to do it even that way. Um, but I mean, it, it's just, that's just something we're going to have to, to figure out. So usually when we use it, we just kind of push the ottoman underneath. One stool goes here. And the other stool goes here. And still, there's a couch, there's a walkway. No big deal. Um, so, as far as anything else that we've really done in the house, I mean, other than just, you know, trying to figure out what works where, we put our cookbooks up there, um, you know, that's it, it, things move around for a little while, and then, you know, you get an idea where you want things, and, and you know, that's just kind of the way it is anywhere when you first move in. Um, still have this empty space underneath the buffet and then of course they had to leave this empty space back in here. Um, so um, we're kind of tucking the garbage can under one side so that kind of leaves that unavailable. So we're putting the pressure canner under here. That's kind of where we're putting it because we've been using it frequently. Um, but um, Carrie's going to build a potato and onion bin that I can keep underneath here um, to get that off of the counter space. Um, it'll prolong their life a little bit better. Um, so, But we have still have that, that open space underneath there that we need to utilize. Um, but uh, that's pretty much it that's changed here. Obviously, um, the storage starts piling up and piling up up there. <laughs> um, but little by little, we're, you know, taken out winter clothes and, and that kind of thing so it, it is a storage it's not really for for living in um, so and this is the bathroom some of you um, on the cornerstone when they posted the cornerstone of the monarch um, our tiny house you were asking about oh where's the doors how are you supposed to have any privacy well um, when you watch the video and they pull up the bed you see the the box that say Davis on it well, those are the brackets for the barn doors um, Carrie wanted to utilize more of the wood from the table um, and also use some um, to mount on the doors. He want, we had the idea of um, insetting them into the, the barn doors so we could still put, display the artwork without, because um, you're, you're, you are limited on wall space um, when you have something like this. So um, we, he put the the wood in and pre measured to have those particular print those particular paintings on that door, um, so they that was mounted after the fact because you wouldn't have these mounted when you're traveling when you're moving it anyway. So that's that door, and then it's the bathrooms pretty much. I mean you know we've added some hooks for the for the towels and um, bathrobes and stuff, and we are gonna um, add a um, hook on this wall for coats and stuff to, to hang there because we're finding when the weather's starting to get cooler you really don't want to keep putting them away taking them out putting them out away you know every day so um we're doing that um showers you know we well, what do you do about the shower well you put a shower curtain up so that's what we did um and then in the bedroom nothing like i said has really changed other than i don't know if you had seen we had you know didn't want to keep opening the bed um so we did put a wall over the door shoe rack up um and that's basically all the shoes except for stuff we keep in the barn um and then there's the other bracket and the unfinished barn door um on the master um so uh cornerstone was kind enough to give us some scrap wood um, that we've been using we use some of it on the the stairs that we built um and we also have been blessed with cedar on our property so some of the trees have come down and if Carrie can find a way to mill it, then we'll be setting in some other um, artwork into this barn door um, on the back side. But for now, yes, there's your privacy for the bedroom. So that's the uh, 
pretty much the completed and updated version of um, our Monarch and the improvements we've made thus far. Um, so I will uh, be talking to you later, and thanks a lot. Bye.